guys, welcome to my review for Season 2, Episode 12 of Little Women Atlanta. If you haven't seen this episode yet, you might want to watch this video later, because this is totally going to spoil it for you. Okay? Now, the name of this episode is Three's a Crowd. The episode starts out with Miss Juicy and her friend Dominique. We've seen Dominique on the show before, remember? Miss Juicy decides to take her lingerie shopping to help her get over a breakup. And... Miss Juicy said that being money's maid of honor makes her re makes her realize that she needs to find a date. Then she decides that maybe she should go speed dating, and then she hopes that she does not regret doing doing speed dating, and said that only a certain man can handle Miss Juicy, baby. <laughs> then they start trying on lingerie and stuff, and that's all we see from that section. Next, they show we show Moreland and Money going over to a wine place to pick some wine for their wedding. While they're looking for wine, Money mentions that maybe they should go to a wedding expo so they can like look for stuff that they might want to have at their wedding. And she said that she invited all the girls to the wedding expo, even Minnie. So they look at they look at wine, and then Moreland mentions how they're on a budget for their wedding. Then the two sit down and they start tasting wine. Moreland reminds her that money does not grow on trees, and she has champagne taste, but beer money. Money says she's tired of arguing with Moreland whenever they work on their wedding plans, because when they start talking about the budget and stuff, she just gets angry, and, and they start arguing with each other. So yeah, that's all we see from them. After that, Chris, Andrea, Aubrey, and Minnie are shown in their apartment. Andrea says Aubrey has been home from the hospital for a week and Chris came back unexpectedly and they're currently working on being a family again. Andrea, Aubrey, and Chris go into a private room and then they start to discuss Minnie staying at the apartment. Andrea says that she doesn't want to tell Minnie to leave. Minnie, said that, Minnie says that ever since Chris came back to the apartment, she feels like she's been in the way. Minnie then calls Amanda on the phone. Minnie says, tells her that she feels like the third wheel, and Andrea asks, what's the point of her moving in if Crystal's gonna come back? Minnie chats with Amanda in person. Minnie says that she overheard Chris talking about her not needing to stay with them anymore, and Andrea says that Chris is not man enough to take care of his kids, but he wants to get mad when someone else steps in to help. She says that she wishes her sister would put her foot down with Chris. She said Chris doesn't care since she left her sister while their baby was in the hospital. Minnie says it is totally up to Andrea, and Amanda says that her sis doesn't realize that Chris will not change. Juicy meets up with her pastor, and the reason why is because she wants to have a meeting between her, the pastor, and Minnie, so they can like work, patch up their friendship. And Juicy says that she realized that she's been rough on Minnie, so and that's why she's doing this. Juicy tells her what tears them apart is the lies, and then they start talking about stuff. And then Minnie brings up Pastor Troy. How about blah, 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 blah. Um, the pastor says that he's heard many great things about her, about Minnie, and Juicy cares about her. Juicy says that she values their friendship and she's sorry for what she did. The pastor says to basically try to forget the past and to do something fun together. Juicy suggests that they go to a speed dating event together. And then Minnie says that the session was great, but she's still keeping her then, guard. After that, we go back with Andrea and Chris. Andrea says that Chris being back reminds her of the reason why she loves being with him. And she wishes things didn't feel so awkward between them and Minnie living in the same apartment. Chris asks Andrea if she talked to Minnie. Andrea says she doesn't want to hurt Minnie's feelings and she wants to keep Chris happy. He says that she needs to tell Minnie to get out. Chris also says that she needs to understand that they need privacy. He says he has nothing against Minnie, but he wants to be able to get up and make coffee in his boxers and stuff. And Andrea says that she will tell her to leave. Juicy Miss Minnie and Miss Juicy's friend Dominique go speed dating. They start talking to people. Juicy asks guys questions like, do they have kids? Are the kids by the same person? Does he have a car, etc.? Minnie asks people how they are, what do they like to do, etc. And after all that is done, the three girls sit down. 
Minnie and Juicy find out that they are interested in the same man. Then they get matched up and they sit and talk. And Miss Juicy gets matched up with the man that um Minnie and that her and Minnie liked. Then um all the them and their dates their dates sit down and chat and stuff. And they just basically have a good time. Now, finally, Andrea decides to talk to Minnie. Andrea tells Minnie that it's going to be hard for her to say what she's about to tell her. And she says that ever since Chris came back, they've been talking. They want their own privacy and they want her to move out. Minnie says that she dropped everything to move in and help Andrea with, to help Andrea with Aubrey. And if she moves out, she will have nowhere to go. Minnie said that her mom said that Chris will be back soon and she'll have to come back to her house and she doesn't want to face her mother. Her mother was right. Everybody knew that Chris was going to be back. If I were her, I would have just packed up some stuff for like, like as if I was going on a trip. I'd go over there, blah, blah, blah help with the baby. And then when Chris came back, I'd just pick my little stuff up and go, go back with my mother. So why would you move all of your stuff into the house like they were going to live there forever? So, yeah, that's my opinion. And then Minnie asks what will happen if he does this again. And they, they talk, blah, blah. Then Minnie starts crying and then she packs her stuff up. And now the final event of the episode. Money, Juicy, Minnie, and Moreland go over to a wedding expo. They taste some food and look at other things. And Miss Juicy keeps on saying, maid of honor she said maid of honor like at least seven times and many can't take it they, they are looking at different little products and stuff little things for weddings and miss juicy's like oh i'm the maid of honor and i think that would be great for her oh i'm the maid of honor i think this would look cute on me oh i'm maid of honor that way maid of honor maid of honor maid of honor yeah. then Minnie pulls money aside and then she, she to talk to her she says that she feels uncomfortable and says that Juicy is throwing that maid of honor business in her face. She says she doesn't get why Money picked Juicy to be the maid of honor instead of her. She says that she knows that they've had situations in the past and she was there before Juicy was. Money said that she should have thought about that when she was doing all that lying and stuff. I agree with her. I agree with her with the part about her being around longer because remember just last season miss juicy and money were beefing they were throwing uh drinks on each other at minnie's birthday party and then money said that miss juicy was looking like a wet puppy dog after she monetized her remember that monetized pick up a drink well yeah that's her little word threw water on her and stuff but now they're friends it is funny how the reality tv world works because one minute they're beefing, and then next minute they're besties. Despite all that little crap that they went through. Anyway, but Money does have her reasons. Minnie says that Juicy knows nothing about her. And Money says that, that Juicy is real, and real recognizes real. And that's why Money, Minnie will not be in the wedding. Minnie was like, oh, I don't care. I don't want to be part of the ghetto wedding. Girl, you know you do. You know you want to be in that wedding. You mad about the maid of honor mess. So then M Money goes back into the expo. And she tells Juicy that Minnie is gone. She's gone because of the she got mad over the maid of honor mess. And she said that she felt uncomfortable being there. Miss Juicy said that maybe she was throwing that maid of honor mess in her face a little bit but that day was Moreland and money's special day and yeah she shouldn't be acting like that since she said that since it's their day miss juicy um signed Moreland and money up for Moreland yeah Moreland and money up for a couple's game so basically at the game they have the couple the woman they had three people three sets of couples playing where the women would sit up sit down and then the men would stand behind them and they'd have to ask a question the men would have to write it down on a, on a board and then the woman would have to answer the question next and if the man answered the question right they would get a point point. and one of the questions was if there is anyone on the guest list they wish whose invitation gets lost in the mail who would it be 
money said many and then Moreland ended up writing the right the right answer and Moreland and money ended up winning the game and I think Juicy said that it would have been super awkward if, if Minnie was there. Wow. Like, why would you even... Well, I don't understand why she invited her if she doesn't want her there for the wedding. She's trying to be... Well, she's trying to act like... Act mature and be a woman and not immature, but... She, I know I see she's trying to act like a woman and be mature about things, but that would have been so, so awkward. And inappropriate somewhat. And that is the end of the episode. I really hope this is not... I really hope next episode is not the season finale. Because it kind of looks like it. It really is. Because maybe they might show the wedding for season three. I really hope there is a season three. I think there will be a season three. They should be getting some pretty good views. Anyway. I'm going to tell you guys what happens next time. Next time on Little Women Atlanta, Money goes dress wedding dress shopping. Minnie talks to her mom about Juicy and their friendship, about somebody's friendship, about her friendship with somebody. Andrea talk Andrea and Chris talk about taking care of Aubrey. I think Andrea brings up like how he could at least help change diapers. And remember, they were sitting at the table eating. He was like, oh, no. No, I can't talk about this. All this diaper talk is making me uncomfortable. So we're going to see what they were really talking about when they showed the episode. While they're at a party or a club or something, Money makes makes Minnie her co-maid of honor. And Minnie all, is all happy. So I guess Minnie's back in the wedding. And... Yeah, she makes her the cold maid of honor, and then Miss Juicy gets all mad and leaves the place. Maybe that was Money's liquor talking again, because remember when they made, when she made Miss Juicy the maid of honor, they were at the vineyard, and she had had like a, quite a few drinks, and she was kind of a little buzzed a little. So yeah, maybe that was her liquor talking, because they were, you know, are there at the club, they were drinking and stuff, so yeah that's basically it can't wait till next episode and i really hope that it's not the season finale if that's the season finale i don't know what i'm gonna do i know the season finale will come but yeah and that's all i have to say thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it check out my other little woman atlanta review videos i have a playlist with all of the um review videos i did for that Check out my other videos too, even though they're not all review videos. Follow me on Twitter at ILU More Than This. I like to tweet during and after the show. And one more thing. I'm sorry I posted this video so late. I haven't had a chance to record it, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I will see you guys, I guess, hopefully later on this week. Okay? All right. Bye.